Hi everyone, welcome to week five of the AdSense 10 challenge. My name is Laura and I work on the AdSense support team here at Google. Today I'll be walking you through part two of our segment on making better decisions using Google Analytics. As you recall from week four, Courtney talked about how Google Analytics can be extremely helpful in defining goals for your site. Today we'll be diving a little deeper into Google Analytics and introducing advanced tips that can help you make better decisions. As we work through today's topic, don't forget that the rest of the week is filled with activities designed to reinforce what you learned today. If you have questions along the way, we encourage you to ask one another in the community and to bring your questions to office hours on Friday. By linking your AdSense account with Google Analytics, you can get more granular information about site activity. Specifically, using Google Analytics, you can infer more information about your users and create a strategy around content creation and engagement. And with that, here's a look at what we'll cover today. How to create a custom report, how to find actionable data, and how to create an automated report. Okay, let's talk about custom reports. Understanding custom reports. A custom report is a report that you create to learn more about your site. You pick the dimensions, city and browser, for example, and metrics, visits, page views, and bounce rates, and decide how they should be displayed. You can think of custom reports as puzzle pieces. You can pick and choose what you'd like to focus on, and they fit together to become a story or in this analogy, a picture. How to create a custom report. Now let's talk about how to actually create a custom report. When you open up your Google Analytics account, navigate to customization in the orange bar at the top. Once you click new custom report, you'll be asked to define your custom report. In the general information field, you'll be asked to create a title. A great title to use would be the name of your site and the purpose of this report. Next, in the report content section, you'll enter your metrics groups. For example, you can select page views, AdSense ads clicked, or eCPM. The options you see on this slide are fundamental elements of a custom report and are a great option to look at, especially if you're just starting out with Google Analytics. Now that we know how to create a custom report, let's take a look at a few of the metric groups and dimension drill downs you can play around with in order to collect data that can help you identify next steps for your site. How to find pages without AdSense ads. For example, you can use custom reports to identify which pages on your site don't have AdSense ads. To do this, make sure you select page views and AdSense ads viewed in the metrics group when you're creating a custom report. Once you get the report, what you do is compare the number of page views against the number of times AdSense ads have been viewed. The ratio between these two numbers will tell you which pages don't have AdSense ads. For example, if you have three AdSense ads on one page, the total number of AdSense ads viewed should be three times larger than the number of page views. If this isn't the case, then your page may be missing an ad and an opportunity to maximize revenue on the page. How to differentiate between new and returning user activity. 
You can also use custom reports to identify how site activity and performance differs between new users and returning visitors. How new users and returning visitors respond to your site can depend on things like site design and content, a topic we'll talk more about next week in user experience. So to do this, make sure to select visitor type in dimension drill down. Once you do this, you can see two rows, one for new users and one for repeaters. It'll show you the difference between the two groups in regards to AdSense revenue, the number of ads clicked, eCPM, and other metrics. For example, I have one site, and the eCPM for repeaters is 50% higher than new users. What does this mean? This may mean that I should focus on repeaters, their needs, and create content for them. How to track your mobile site's performance. This is the actual structure of the custom report that you'll create. The main thing to do here is to add mobile in the dimension component. You can add mobile device information, for example, tablet, Android, or another device type in the page. By creating a custom report for mobile, you'll get much more detailed data on mobile than you would from AdSense alone. This will help you to develop a strategy for your mobile sites. I suggest you also look at the average page download time and server response time because page speed is very important to the user experience. If page download times are slow, you may want to look into this further. How users share on social networks. With custom reports, you can also look at how users share your content on social networks. This function allows you to know what content of yours is being shared by users on the preferred social networking sites. To do this, you'll need to add the social network and the shared URL so you know what content was shared by your users. The final topic is on report automation. This means that you don't have to manually check your analytics regularly. It's designed to make the process of reporting much easier for you. Now you can access your regular reports by email instead of logging into Google Analytics. How to create an automated report. So how do you set up report automation? There are two ways. The first is to use the custom report notification. Go to customization and then click the email tab. A new screen will appear. Put your primary email address in the to section. You can also add multiple email addresses if you'd like. Then select what type of file you want to receive the information in. We recommend CSV or PDF. Then choose the frequency, weekly, monthly, or another frequency depending upon when you want to receive your report, and you'll get your report sent to your inbox. Intelligence Event Custom Alert. The second way is to create an intelligence event custom alert. So what's the difference between the two methods? An intelligence event custom alert is more for setting specific measures that will trigger a report. For example, I want a report from analytics when the traffic has increased by 20% in comparison to last week. If you want this type of report, intelligence event is for you. So how do you set it up? Firstly, go to the reporting tab. Then go to intelligence events and overview. Then you'll get to this new window. 
You can name your custom report whatever you want. You can also select a period of time, for example, weekly or monthly. Make sure to opt in for send me an email when this alert triggers. You can also indicate which email addresses should receive the report. You can set your specific alert conditions in the alert conditions section. So in my case, I want to be alerted when users come from Google.com and the number of visitors coming from Google.com has increased by 20%. There was a lot of information covered in today's session, so let's do a quick recap. You can use Google Analytics to learn more about your users, maximize the revenue of your pages, Distinguish between how new and old visitors act on your site. Sorry about that, everyone. We're back. And now we're going to close out the rest of the presentation. Here we go. So for this slide, Laura, I think it'd be yeah. good to do another recap. Excellent. Like the quick recaps. <laughs> So to recap, to use Google Analytics, you can use Google Analytics to learn more about your users, to maximize the revenue of your pages, distinguish between how new and old visitors act on your site, develop strategies including your mobile site, know what content is being shared by your users on social, social networking sites, and get reports automatically sent to your email address. As you're thinking about how Google Analytics can help you become an AdSense expert, here are a few things to try. Create a custom report. Think about the dimensions and metrics you want to measure. Compare the number of page views against the number of AdSense ads viewed. Compare how new and existing customers act on your site. Find out your average page download speed. Set up a custom report. And set up an intelligence event custom alert. Lastly, here are a few helpful resources that are available on analytics. We've covered a lot today, and we want to ensure you have the right resources if you want to do more research or have any lingering questions. You can find announcements and exciting product developments on the analytics blog shown here. If you'd like to rewatch today's presentation, make sure to check out our Help Center later on this week. So that's it for this session. Tomorrow, we're going to look at Google Analytics in more detail in a Hangout on Air with a few members of the AdSense community, and on Friday, don't miss office hours from 11 to 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. We'll be there to answer any questions you may have about using Google Analytics. Next week, we'll be looking at the user experience and how we can help you to better understand your users. That's it for today's presentation. I know it was short, but I hope it gave you a good understanding of how you can use Google Analytics to help with your AdSense performance. Thanks again for joining us.